hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel or welcome if you're new i'm maya and today we are going to be talking about the brand new miraculous ladybug season 4 episode 4 mr pigeon 72. this was by far one of the craziest episodes we've received yet from the season and so today we are going to be analyzing mr pigeon 72 and i'm going to be showing you guys some things that you might have missed like secret messages foreshadowing moments etc but before we get into today's video be sure to subscribe down below so you never miss the tea on the show you love now let's get into it to begin the episode, we see Marinette and Alia in her bedroom. On Marinette's bedroom wall, we can see all of the candidates of people that have been akumatized in the past and how many times they have been akumatized, which is demonstrated by the amount of star stickers that they have. Marinette and or Ladybug is extremely stressed and Alia, being the best friend that she is, gives her some much needed advice and tells her that it's time for her to get out. But what really motivates Marinette to actually get out of her bedroom is when she discovers that Adrigami and or Adrian and Kagami have broken up. She tries to justify to Alia why she needs to go see Kagami immediately and console her. The reason I think Marinette was trying so hard throughout this episode to convince Kagami to get back with Adrian is because she herself is trying to convince herself that there are no chances of her being together with Adrian and she wants there to be obstacles in the Way, so she has excuses not to try and make it work. As for when she actually leaves her house, we see this image here and she shows how bright the sun is in her face and I think this is just showing that she has not left her house in a hot minute and so she's not used to the outdoors. Can we talk about how hilarious this was when she jumped onto Kagami? Their friendship is honestly elite, I love it. And surprisingly, Kagami's mom allows her to go. So the main place that this episode took place was the pool, where we see Adrian having a photo shoot with pigeons, which Bob likes to call doves. But I think what all concerned us was that yet again, Natalie is not here and Gabriel is just resting on a chair. We have not seen Natalie since season three, the New York special. And I was actually getting really concerned that she was gonna fall into a deep coma, just as Gabriel's wife did. However, today we were shown a teaser slash spoiler from the episode Optigami, where we actually see Natalie for the first time in season four. So the photo shoot is going great. Adrian is having a blast, he's doing flips. And then Gabriel decides to say, I want one of the doves to bring a rose to my son during his jump. So we see Edgar the pigeon head over to the props bag where we see him pick up not just any rose, but a red rose. Now to all my miraculous lovers, I think it's quite obvious at this point that roses represent so much in miraculous. Up until now, we've seen all kind of roses, yellow, pink, red, and from what we could tell in the episode Where Dad, the color rose that is associated with Marinette is pink, while the color associated for Ladybug is red. This is huge. This is demonstrating how the love square is flipping, and now how Adrian is beginning to feel the same way for Marinette as he does with Ladybug. Because Marinette's rose is no longer pink, it's red. While Marinette and Kagami are planning on getting dressed to go for a swim, we see Marinette pull out a ball gown. This blew my mind. I was literally screaming when I was watching this. And the reason for that is because just the other day, Jeremy Zag released this teaser of the Awakening movie. Now, I do want to clarify for anyone who is not aware, the Awakening movie is not canon to the actual series, meaning that the storyline and how the characters act in the movie is not supposed to be the same as it is in the series, as the Awakening movie is a perspective from Jeremy Zapp. But what I'm trying to say here is that we have seen Marinette asking Adrian to go to the ball in the Awakening movie, and now she brings out a ball gown in the series. I think this just confirms that we are gonna be getting an episode in the series of Marinette and Adrian going to the ball together. Then probably the cutest part of this episode, we see Marinette Marinette holding Kagami to look into Adrian's eyes and I had actually predicted before watching the episode that when we had seen Adrian in the teaser belly flop it was because he was gonna see Kagami 
Since Marinette's plan A didn't work out, she was not ready to give up, so she had a plan B, and that was to get Kagami even closer. This ended up backfiring into something hilarious, and we see Marinette and Adrian both fall into the pool together. Since Adrian had messed up again, Bob blamed Edgar, Mr. Rami's pigeon, and this ultimately led to him becoming akumatized for the 72nd time. But this time, he doesn't only have pigeons fighting by his side, but now he turns people into pigeons to battle with him. And even after all of this, Marinette is still fighting for Kagami to not give up. But then we see Kagami turn into a pigeon along with Adrian, aka Cat Noir. What is happening? which means that Ladybug is left all alone to battle. But luckily she has her best friend Alia to save her. And while Alia was spending time reading over the grimoire and trying to figure out how Ladybug can create these lucky charms, she's obviously interrupted to help Ladybug and create illusions of Ladybug and Cat Noir. This was one of my favorite parts of the episode because for the first time we saw Rena Rouge setting her intentions and creating the illusions. Funny enough, Plague is a part of the plan, and I just think Plague and Ladybug are so cute together. I love their little friendship. Then the illusion versions of Cat Noir and Ladybug end up detransforming into what looks nothing like them. I don't know how Hawk Moth could believe this. Anyways. The illusions fake throwing their miraculous into the pool. Mr. Pigeon jumps in, Plague swims out, and what do you know? Plague takes the akumatized object, and Plague and Ladybug save the day. Towards the end, Alia actually comes to the pool and shows Ladybug what she's been missing all this time, and it's the fact that she is Ladybug. She is creation, and Cat Noir is destruction, yin and yang. And with this motivation and support that Alia brought to the table, Ladybug was finally able to enter her new transformation when she creates lucky charms for people. Again, I was screaming watching this, seeing her light up all of her polka dots and the beautiful rainbow accents added to it. It just made my heart so happy. And for the part none of us were expecting from this episode, the reversed parallel umbrella scene. But before we analyze this next clip, be sure to let me know down below what your theories are for this season. There are so many theories and thoughts in the air. It is so exciting and I'm so happy that we are being bamboozled with so much miraculous content. Anyways, let's get back to analyzing. In this clip, we see Kagami admit to Marinette that she sees that Marinette and Adrian truly belong together. This was a parallel from when Master Fu was standing in the rain saying those two were made for each other. I honestly feel so bad for Kagami because she truly deserves so much better and just hearing her say, he is perfect, perfect for you, made my heart drop. And of course, seconds after that, we see Adrian walk out from behind her and mention how Marinette has had the umbrella all this time. And right at that very moment when Marinette hears Adrian's voice, we hear a clap of thunder, just like in the first episode. And we know that any thunder sound in Miraculous is symbolizing love. And we also know that when you hear thunder, it's trying to say love at first sight. Marinette looks terrified here. I feel like this is when Marinette just realizes that she is meant to be with Adrian and that Kagami's right. She then goes to hand Adrian the umbrella, which he declines because he says that she'll need it to go home. And I think we were all so proud of Marinette in this moment because she confidently asked Adrian if they wanted to walk home together. And not only that, but we see them holding hands under the umbrella together, which then closes on themselves. I think this has become one of my favorite Adrianette moments ever. You know, Marishat will always hold a very special place in my heart, but in this episode, in this moment, Adrianette took a solid lead. So then when Adrian's bodyguard arrives, he cannot actually go on the walk with Marinette because he has Chinese lessons. And so he heads into the car, the car that he goes into every single day, 
and bumps his head. Are the character traits reversing here? What is happening? Adrian being clumsy? What? To sum it up, this episode revealed so many things that the fandom has been waiting for. We see Marinette's new transformation. We see Alia help Marinette discover her new powers, which is to create lucky charms that protect people from being akumatized. We see the possible teaser for an upcoming episode where we see Marinette and Adrian going to the ball together. A red rose to represent that the love square is flipping. It is happening. Alert. And how Adrian's emotions and perspective towards Marinette is changing. And just to give a little reminder of some of the episodes that we can be expecting this week from season 4, our Soul Crusher on Tuesday, May 25th, Queen Banana on Friday, May 28th, and Optigami on May 30th, Sunday. Three episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. With all the new Miraculous Season 4 episodes coming, also mean a bunch of Miraculous content coming from myself, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys very soon.